Halloween, the one night a year where it is socially acceptable to dress up in costumes, roam the streets after dark, and knock on strangers' doors demanding candy. And yet, this celebration is not a completely modern phenomenon. It actually dates back thousands of years. Originally, it came from a Celtic festival named Samhain. Samhain marked the end of the summer and the harvest and the beginning of the coming winter. They would light bonfires, wear costumes, and hold great gatherings in which they would attempt to ward off evil spirits. With the spread of Christianity in the early medieval years, many pagans were converted, and as a common evangelism tactic, the church would often create a festival that was a more orthodox alternative to the pre-existing tradition. This led to the institution of All Saints Day, or All Hallows Day, celebrated on November 1st. This meant that the traditional date of Samhain, October 31st, was now All Hallows' Eve, or, as it would later become known, Halloween. Many of the customs of Samhain, like the costume wearing, the bonfires and parades, were carried over into the new Christian tradition. And, as time went on, customs from other similar celebrations were assimilated in, like the Scottish tradition of guising, where children dressed up as ghosts to successfully hide from the spirits roaming the land would perform an act, like a song or a poem, that would get them rewarded with a treat. This was an early form of the modern trick-or-treating. Pumpkin carving is a rather more modern custom, with pumpkins actually being native to America. However, over here, Britons would carve faces into swedes or turnips, lighting them from within with a candle and placing them on their windowsills to ward off any ill-meaning spiritual intruders. Nowadays, Halloween is a wildly commercial endeavour, with spending for this one-night celebration reaching as high as £474 million in the UK alone in 2019. The true origins of this tradition have been somewhat lost, hidden under layers of face paint and mountains of chocolate wrappers. And yet, there is still a part that persists, this fascination with ghosts and spirits, and for some, the idea that this is the night where the boundaries between the living and the dead are increasingly thin. This has been a very short history of Halloween. Thank you very much for listening to this present history bite, and make sure you follow us on all social media so you can keep up to date with all we do. Thank you again, and we will see you in the next present history bite.